obviously only a few days removed from another fight here in Europe. I guess what are the emotions coming after that last performance in Paris to now fighting here in the UK? Yeah, um, I'm always happy to fight in Europe. Um, uh, this fight, it's personal for me in a sense that like I never had two losses in a row and this is not going to be the case also. So, yeah, man. And by now I can't wait to go out and put on a great performance. When you say it's personal, it has nothing to do with Roman, does it? Is it just an internal thing that you don't want to drop two in a row? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, even though it is a bit personal with Roman too, in a sense, because... Uh, uh, you know, we we actually trained together before and stuff, and uh, we had some good friend in common. And uh, he didn't think twice of accepting the fight. And uh, you know, of course, like then if you accept the fight, and they come back to me and they tell me like, "Oh, you accepted the fight," then I'm not gonna shy away from from a fight. Definitely not. I wouldn't say that we were like friends, but you know, at the same time, you know, like we've been around each other a couple times, and yeah. But yeah, at the same time, you know, at the end of the day, like, we're we're not here to make to make friends, and uh, and I totally get it, and uh, yeah, I totally get it. So absolutely, let, let's do it, and uh, I can't wait to do it, to be honest. So you said you trained with him a, a few times. Yeah, 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 because he came at Kings back in the back back a while ago, and then uh, Giga Chikadze was a uh, you know he's Georgian, that they're uh, they're Georgians, they they became friends, and me and Giga go back a very long time. We're, we're like, I mean, he's, he's been my teammate forever. Like, I can call him my brother. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, just things like this, you know, and then uh, he just accepted a fight. But, yeah, no, at the end of the day, he's right. We're not here to make friends. And, uh, yeah, he's in my division, and uh, I'll, I'll go out and smash him. How did those How did those training sessions go when you guys were at Kings? Uh, they, they, they went well for me, I, I believe, you know. But uh, I, I'm the first to say that, like, you know, training ain't a, ain't a fight. So, you know, uh but still, you know, yeah, for sure, they, they, they went well. And you're at Extreme right now, correct? Um, or you did some training No, there. no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I moved out to Vegas. Uh, now Extreme, I went there. I was going there may, maybe like two to two, two, three times a week to um, to train and spar. But mainly I did my things with like uh, uh, Jason Melly, uh, Dewey Cooper, and uh, Emmanuel Lochner at the, at the, at the PI. They have a lot of middleweights at Extreme. Did you get a lot of yeah. mitts in with like Sean and Chris and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me and Sean, we always trained. You know, even uh, even when I was like, uh, cause well, he was in California too before, so we always trained together. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Sean Curtis was there. Um, uh, I just who who also uh, uh, Sadi uh, Sadi Boozy. Um, yeah, yeah, old guys. I might be forgetting somebody, but. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of middleweights, a lot of good bodies, a lot of like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually train a lot with, uh, especially lately with uh, Utaba. Um, yeah, man, definitely a lot of bodies. So speaking specifically of Roman, how how impressed have you been uh, with his with his run of wins, especially his his last fight? He kind of stepped in against Jack, short notice, and pulled off that submission. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a sniper. Like uh, if he gets an opportunity, like he'll go after it hard. So that's why you got to be really careful about that for sure. You got to address that because like uh, he gets a position, he, he's gonna fight for his life to get it, and uh, it's good. I mean, I, yeah, hats off to to. To him and uh, the way that uh, he finished Hermanson, because uh, I fought Hermanson, I know it's not easy. With that being said, though, like uh, overall as a fighter, I think um, it's a, like you know I'm in a different league. But yeah, no, yeah, impressive, good, you know, like uh, good. I mean, he's doing good things, but now I think he messed up on accepting that fight against me. And last one for me. Uh, can I ask your prediction for the main event between Leon and Kamaru? Yeah, um, I think Amar will do it again. I think he'll he'll uh, he'll get the the belt back. You have, you mentioned about training with Sean. He wants to fight Paulo Costa, and something's happening there. If that fight does happen, how do you see it going? <laughs> That'd be a good fight, to be honest. That'd be a good fight. Uh, I will see. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's hard to call, but uh, I think you see, like. I don't know, man. I think uh, it's hard. It's hard to call. I, I, I hope Sean do. I mean, you know, me and Sean. At least, I mean, at the end of the day, we go back a long time. Uh, but I don't know because Sean just doesn't really prepare for people. Like he just like the way like he'll train. Like he'll train always all year round the same way, 
and he'll fight the same way. Like he wouldn't, he won't really like prepare for guys. Like, and sometimes at the highest level, you need to prepare for for God, for the opponent that you're fighting. You know, specifically. So, but I mean, you know, like if I had to put my money on somebody, I'd definitely put it on Sean. But Costa can do it too. You know. Uh, outside of this, Darren Till has just left the UFC. I know that was a fight that was around with you for a while and yeah, never yeah. came to happen. You sad to see him go? What do you think about him leaving the UFC? Uh, I mean, you know, that's that's uh, that's his uh, his choice. I don't agree. Like for myself, I wouldn't have I wouldn't agree on 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 that decision because like you either rise up to the occasion or you really don't. You don't really. I mean, yeah, you can lose and win, but then you eventually you gotta like level up to the to, to the occasion eventually, and then. But maybe you know, maybe sometimes you gotta take a step back to, to come back. So, yeah, I mean, that that that's on him, you know. And I wish him nothing but the best at the end of the day, you know. After we were there in Thailand, we got to hang out a little bit and then train, and yeah, I mean, yeah, he's uh, yeah. I mean, I just hope he gets it together. Was it awkward seeing him for the first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, to be honest, like. When I saw him, I never really thought too much of like what we said to each other because actually a lot of things that he said I didn't even saw. Like actually I saw it after, but then I'm like, oh, we were cool now, so I don't even, I don't even bother. But uh, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't. It was never like a real like thing for me, at least. I don't know. Marvin, just over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you said this fight is personal for you because of the loss, the last loss to to Robert Whitaker. What were your takeaways from that fight? Uh, yeah, yeah. There was a uh, one main take that was uh, <laughs> I needed to add kicks into my into my game for sure. Because <laughs> of course I like to box and all that, but um, then uh, you know they they especially coming off on that second round, it changed the distance a bit, and uh, I struggled uh, on finding him with my jab and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah I gotta I gotta add some weapons, so. Uh, went back, w w went to Thailand straight away, and worked on my kicks. And um, yeah, man, I mean, yeah, that was the main take. And uh, in general, as a fighter, he's a great fighter. I could, I could, you know, I could take some some of the some of the things that he did, and uh, you know, like to pick his style a little bit. I would say, and that's it. Yeah, but no, I mean, it was a good. Ex I mean, yeah, it was uh, it was good. I mean, I. He's a great fighter, man, and uh, I wish uh, I would, like I want to fight him again in the future. So, and and, and compete against him again uh, eventually. So, good, yeah. That 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 was it, though. And you're currently ranked number four in the division. So, what are you hoping for with with a win over Roman? Um, the year the the middleweight division is so open. You know, I'm just gonna establish myself as uh, one of the best, and I'll be around. I'll make sure if. Uh, an occasion for the title rise again. I'm right there. If not, they'll, they'll, they'll give me somebody else. I'll, yeah, it's uh, just gonna show that I'm not going anywhere, and uh, I'll be there. And uh, yeah, I'm still right there within the best. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what they give me. The only guy in the top five that I didn't fight is, is Canonier. We'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll fight him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 laser focused on 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 Roman right now. And of course, Alex Pereira holds the title now. What did you think of his win over Israel Adesanya? Yeah, yeah, uh, it was good, it was good. I called it, I called it. I, I, I think, you know, he got Adesanya's number. I think he'll do it again. And uh, with that being said, Pereira will be a great fight for me. And uh, I hope I can get that, that, that shot uh, eventually, so, yeah. How'd you see that rematch going down in Miami? Oh yeah, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll do it again, like, yeah. Come, like, yeah, if he did it without the belt, the belt will, will boost confidence, and I think he'll do it even easier, to be honest. Thank you. Um, Marvin, you made some huge adjustments in your professional life. Uh, how is it for you to have an Italian cornering you again after all this time? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, me and, uh, and, uh, and Emanuele go back a really, really, really long way. Like, we, we grew up together. It's obviously like... Uh, it's like having a brother in your corner, you know, and uh, that has been there through everything, basically. So, um, no, awesome, man, uh, awesome. And uh, Jason has also been the first guy that I trained with when I went to America, when I got to US. So, yeah, it's like a old family reunion in a sense, but you know, with 
with high with high level coaching uh, um, behind. So yeah, no, no, it feels good. It feels amazing. Did you feel the necessity to go back to to return to your roots after uh, your fight with Whitaker in Paris? I, I just felt like uh, I needed to to improve in some areas, and uh, that's what I did. You know, I got out of my comfort zone again. I mean, that's something I always seeked and 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 wanted to. And you know, when whenever you feel too comfortable in some areas like that, that that shows that like. You're not improving as uh, as much as you need to, and um, yeah, so that's what I did, you know. But um, yeah, so I just took another step in my career that I think was the right move, and that's it. Yeah. In your uh, latest fight, the Italian crowd was amazing. The atmosphere was on fire during the night. Can we expect the same atmosphere on Saturday? Yeah, I believe so. Like. Half of London, it's Italians now. So, like, uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope there'll be, like, there will be uh, an amazing crowd. A lot of, like, uh, um, green, white, and red flags. And, um, yeah, man, I really hope so. Grazie, Marvin. Bocca lupo. Prego, prego, niente. Marvin, over here. You just mentioned the crowd somewhat, the Italians. Did you watch either of the two London events last year? And what did you make of the British fans? I don't know, I have, like, I might have watched the fights, but I didn't see the crowd, to be honest, I didn't pay attention, but, uh, yeah, but I mean, English, English fans are always amazing, you know, like, they're, they're, they're hardcore, and I believe it there'd be a great atmosphere. Marvin, over here, right in front of you, kind of. This, all right, this all right. right. You used to live in London uh, a long time ago, right? Was this before yeah. fighting? No, 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 it was for fighting, it was, uh, like, like, was, like, i came here because of fighting, like I wanted to, to, to train and uh, yeah, yeah, it was 2012, 2014, so yeah, yeah I, I was already training and fighting, yeah. So kind of must be exciting to, to be here then, to fight Yeah, here. yeah, no, no, absolutely, yeah, yeah. This is like, yeah, yeah, that was my first place where I actually turned pro here and um, yeah, man, I mean, uh, for sure, it's like, I know London very well, yeah, and uh, even like for training this week, like some of my old teammates came by, Mike Shipman, And um, yeah, I used to train a London shoot fighter like every day of my life, basically like twice a day. So yeah, for sure, like it feels good to be back in London. And also like I had to make it right because I was here three years ago, but then I, when, I, when I was supposed to fight uh, Darren Stewart, but then uh, <laughs> the day I got here, COVID hit, and then the same day they had to book me a flight to go back. And then he actually ended up fighting in Cage Warriors for the UFC. So I'm like, fuck, you know, like I came all the way here, then. I had to go back and actually fought and I'm like Jesus like and it was the same hotel I'm like fuck you know like I gotta make it right I gotta add some good memory to the, to this hotel to, to to London again and and all that so yeah